there. My name is Scott Buchanan. I lead product marketing for the Modern Apps Business Unit at VMware. And uh, today, for the Spring Live audience, I get to talk about who's who in the Tan Zoo. So first of all, what the heck is a Tan Zoo? If you are not familiar with this term, this is our uh, brand that VMware introduced in the late summer of last year. It is the portfolio of products that we're bringing to market to help our customers build and modernize their applications. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about what's in that portfolio today. It, it helps bring together operators and developers. But before we can go there, we've gotta acknowledge a truth about how developers see VMware today from a recent study that we conducted. Uh, one of the respondents noted, I don't know what they're doing to create tools for the developer. I've never seen anything related to application development from VMware. And that wasn't a novel sentiment, and we understand. VMware is, uh, uh, for a long time, focused much of its energy on infrastructure and on simplifying operations for that team. But we've also been investing significantly in growing our portfolio of talent and technology to make lives of developers a little bit easier and simpler. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today, how uh, that's been a really focused effort here at VMware. So Tanzu is our portfolio. Let's talk about who's who in the Tanzu because in the past couple of years, we've acquired a number of companies, including Wavefront, Heptio, Bitnami, and Pivotal. And all of these companies are now part of the modern applications business unit here at VMware, the business unit that I'm part of too. And we have grown very quickly to become one happy family because we're really focused uh, on this mission of bringing together operators and developers and, and delivering impact for our customers. Um, um, and how that's come to market in this VMware Tanzu portfolio uh, is a series of products that help our customers operate across multiple clouds, uh, help them ship great software faster, driving more software into production, and then, as I noted a couple of times, bringing together de developers and operators in this shared effort. And it's not only product, it's also services. The services piece is delivered by VMware Pivotal Labs, hundreds of experts that have uh, for a long time been part of VMware or have come across in the Pivotal acquisition and work hand in hand with customers to help them build new apps, uh, modernize their existing apps and refine their platforms. So we'll talk a little bit about this today, but let's get more specific because I don't wanna talk about the portfolio broadly. I wanna highlight how the products that we're building specifically solve some of the pains that developers are experiencing. And I'll do that with data. Uh, for example, in some first party research that we conducted on, uh, on Kubernetes and uh, platforms, we asked respondents what is the most significant impediment to developer productivity at their organizations? And the most frequent response was integrating new technologies into existing systems. So that was the most significant impediment to developer productivity. And we can marry that data point with one that we saw in some research from Stack Overflow asking developers, what is their most loved platform? And 77% of respondents said it's Kubernetes. So let's bring those two ideas together. We need to embed new technologies into existing platforms to more rapidly drive adoption. And Kubernetes is a valued and loved platform. And so a couple of weeks ago, we announced uh, the embedding of Kubernetes into our flagship product here at VMware, VMware Cloud Foundation 4. And so what we've done is taken Kubernetes and embedded it into the kernel of this offering such that uh, it is now a, a part of that offering and operators who are familiar with these tools can now provision a Kubernetes cluster in the exact same way that they would have always provisioned a virtual machine. So familiar tools, new constructs for the operator. And for the developer, they can now leverage Kubernetes APIs to gain self-service access to compute, storage, network, and other resources that they may previously have had to file a ticket in order to, to grab. So both key stakeholders here have a win by embedding a new technology into an existing platform and putting Kubernetes at the fingertips of hundreds or thousands more organizations. 
another example of a new product that we just announced two weeks ago is generally available is the VMware Tanzu application catalog. I'm sure many of you listening today are familiar with Bitnami and are grabbing open source containers from that Bitnami community catalog. But what we offer here is the chance for your organization to curate the community catalog down to those uh, containers that were, uh, will matter to your organization, then apply your own requirements and specifications to those containers for format and OS configuration and more, and deploy those into your private repository, your platform or platforms of choice. And so what this means for developers is you have access to these open source containers that are curated, validated, secured, compliant with your organization's requirements so that you don't have to uh, go and filter and grab these containers or build from scratch. You can take what's at your fingertips here and get moving. That's the VMware Tanzu application catalog. If you have been seriously using Bitnami in your organization, you should take a very close look at this offering. It's a great way to simplify that, uh, that workflow. Okay, let's go back to data. Um, uh, we talked earlier about significant impediment, impediments to productivity. We looked at it in the aggregate. Now, if we look under the covers a little bit, what we see is this really interesting gap in how different roles perceive the pain around waiting for central IT to gain access to infrastructure. Developers identify it as one of their most significant impediments, but when we ask executives, they, it barely registers. They don't see this as, uh, as a point of friction. So uh, we need to address this for the developer audience, and, and that is part of what led us to create VMware Tanzu Mission Control. So this is a product, again, that we announced is generally available just a couple of weeks ago, and this is a really exciting offering that allows your organization to bring all of its Kubernetes clusters together for centralized management. And it does not matter where those clusters run. They can run on premise, on a VMware property. They could be part of a managed service like Amazon EKS or Microsoft AKS or Google GKE, or they can be a DIY cluster as long as it's conformant. Bring it into Tanzu Mission Control and now you can apply policies for access and security and backup and data protection across a group of clusters that spans environments. So um, in terms of central management, instead of going to all these different environments and trying to maintain a degree of consistent policy application and operation, now I can do it from one place. And uh, what we've done here is we've allowed operators to give developers access to namespaces, to Kubernetes namespaces that they can grab and run with without having to file a ticket, uh, without having to you know, work through any process steps. Those namespaces are readily available through Tanzu Mission Control. You don't even have to worry about what environment uh, those namespaces operate in. It's optimized, it's managed through Tanzu Mission Control. So we're getting infrastructure out of the way of the developer. Um, Okay, one of the final data points, we talked to executives and we said uh, um, via Forrester Research, we asked them, oh, how important is it to modernize your application portfolio? 78% of executives said it's a top priority for our organization. And we asked, uh, uh, what kind of progress have you made? And 48% of executives had made no progress in the past year. So it's their top priority this year, it was their top priority last year. We can't let it be their top priority next year. So how can we help them make material progress here? Well, uh, many leaders have embraced the Tanzu application service. This is a rebrand of Pivotal's flagship offering, Pivotal application service. There are already more than a million containers that run on this service today. The applications that you use for financial transactions, to book trips, to engage with healthcare providers, and more, are running on Tanzu application service because it offers turnkey microservices and APIs, and it lets our customers bake security and resiliency into those applications and release updates and patches uh, in days and minutes, not months and weeks. So a very powerful offering here for you to have a closer look at. And then sometimes product is not enough and you need to get unstuck, and that's where our Pivotal Labs team comes into play. The Pivotal Labs team are a group of experts 
that work hand in hand with customers to help them build new cloud native applications uh, that leverage microservices and APIs or to target and then modernize existing applications, all the while instilling new skills uh, into our, our customer organizations. That same team can also engage with customers to transform their operations. And here they would be working with you to install and integrate and configure your systems in order to establish platform as product, to simplify the path to production, help you deliver valuable software to production at scale forever. So that's that expert team that's here uh, as part of uh, VMware. So the net net of this is that VMware is the company that can help enterprises work in two directions at the same time, starting with our, our customers' existing infrastructure, something that we know well that we helped build, and embedding new technologies into that infrastructure, making them easier to adopt for the organization so that they can drive more stability into that infrastructure, even at scale. And then we can help organizations work up from there. Or we can help organizations start with their applications, building new cloud native applications, modernizing existing applications, building a more modern software supply chain to get more code into production more reliably, more rapidly, drive more velocity into the organization and work down. And VMware can do that across on-premise, public clouds and edge environments with a high degree of consistency. That helps us stand apart. Uh, but now I'm standing in your way and you've got a lot more Spring Live to attend to. And so I'm gonna thank you so much for your time and attention. If this Tanzu conversation is interesting to you, we would love to pick that up. Uh, please track uh, down someone from the VMware team uh, and dig in. And, and I'll thank you again and please enjoy the rest of the event.